Welcome to this or that video series produced by UF IFAS Extension Pinellas County. This series helps citizens and visitors correctly identify commonly mistaken species of plants and animals. Florida is home to a vast array of beautiful plants, many of which are very similar and can be difficult to identify. Today we will be showcasing goldenrod and the common ragweed. While goldenrod is often pointed to as a cause for allergies, it's really the inconspicuous common ragweed that is to blame. So today, we are going to give you a few tips to help you distinguish between the two next time you see them. The easiest way to tell these two apart is to look at the flowers. They both flower primarily during the summer and fall season. Goldenrod has bright yellow flowers, making the name goldenrod fitting. Whereas, common ragweed has tiny green flowers and is not very showy at all. In this picture here, you can see them side by side and can clearly see the differences. If the flowers aren't there, then take a look at the leaves. The leaves of common ragweed are finely divided and have many small lobes, unlike the goldenrod leaves which are variable but not lobed. Here you can see the very lobed, almost fern looking leaf of the common ragweed as compared to the non lobe leaf of goldenrod. Another key difference is the types of pollen each plant produces. Goldenrod has sticky pollen and will adhere to any pollinator trying to get its nectar. Common ragweed relies on wind to release its pollen into the air. And what I tell these two apart is by rubbing the leaves of these plants. Leaves of common ragweed will produce a strong odor, while leaves of goldenrod will not. Both of these plants can be found anywhere throughout Florida, so keep your eyes open. Now you know the true culprit of your allergies, common ragweed, from the more showy, pollinator-dependent goldenrod. Thank you for joining us, and stay tuned for more episodes from our This or That series from your UF IFAS Extension Pinellas County office.